Uh, just run out of time, but I've got um, there's one for you which I'm going to run through. So it says Sam's pocket money contains a one pound coin, one fifty p, and three twenties. We we'll select two coins at random and place them in the collection box. Uh, the random verbal X can be put back. So let's have a think about our combinations here. So I could have 40p if that comes from two 20p's. I could have 70p because that would come from a 50p and a 20p. I could have uh, £1.20. So that would be, that would come from a pound and a 20p. Or I could have um, £1.50. That's what £1.20 would be. Really. You would allow us, I could have £1.50, which comes from a pound and a 50p. Now you want some all in pence, so I need to make sure I'm in pence. So let's think about this one. So it says show that x is 70. So for part one, the probability that x is 70 pence would come from 50 pence and 20 pence all the other way around. Or a 20 pence and a 50 pence. So for a 50 pence, you got one of them, and initially they got five coins in the bag. I take one out, I've only got four coins out now. So I take a 20p, that's three of them out of four. Or I can have the other way around, which is three 50p's out of five, and then one, sorry, three 20p's out of five, then one 50p out of four. And that would get us our uh, nine out of 20, three over 10, there, 0.3. So then let's think, it says, so now to do the distribution. So let's think about the other numbers then. So the probability that x is 40p must come from, I lost my answers now, it's a question. I'm getting all excited looking at the next one. Uh, so that would come from. Uh, a 20p and a 20p. Yeah, it's a bit of a bit right there. Oh, come on. It's not working. And a 20p. So a 20p initially will be 3 fifths and then 2 quarters. So that gives us what? 6 out of 20? and cancels down to three over ten. So let's have a think about the one pound twenty. Uh, if they were the same, they're the same probability, so it's not really, you don't get the difference from that. So I've got a pound and twenty p or twenty p and a pound what I can put across there. So the pound is one out of five, the twenty p is three out of four, the twenty p is three out of five, the pound is one out of four. So that gives us our three out of ten again. There we go. Run out, I want to make sure I've got room to put them in here. So the probability that x is one fifty, which is the probability of the pound, the probability of fifty p or the probability of 50p probability of a pound. There. So that would be 1 out of 5, 1 out of 4, 1 out of 5, 1 out of 4. Which is 2 out of 20, 1 out of 10. 1 out of 10. Boing. So if I stick it in a, in a, a, a table, so I've got my 40p by 70p. By 120p, by 150p. So the probability that x is x is going to be so three tenths, oops, three tenths, three tenths, one tenth, and that's that bit. That's the one for you, isn't it? Right. Whew, this one. This one's a funny one. This one. So it says a fair dice is rolled repeatedly until you either get a score of six. 
or the dice has been rolled four times. Tabulate it. Right. So let's have a look. So for probability that x is 1 means I get the 6 on the first go. So that's just a 6. The probability that x is 2 means I don't get a 6, I'm going to get a 6. So that would be, in that specific order as well, that would be 5, 6 times 5 is 6. Because not getting a 6 is 5 over 6. So that's 5 over 36. The probability that x is 3 or the probability of not getting a 6, not getting a 6, then getting a 6. So that's 5 over 6 times 5 over 6. Got my numbers are going all over the show. Times 1 over 6. And that will be 25 over 2 is 16. And then it says, I kind of stop when it's rolled 4 times. So that could be not get a 6, not get a 6, not get a 6, get a 6, okay? Or it could be not get a six, not get a six, not get a six, not get a six. But as the as it's finished, this probability that x is four is actually one minus the other probabilities. So if I put in a bracket here, x is one, x is two, x is three. There. So that would be you work it out, 1 minus, what have we got, so a 6, 5 over 36, plus 5 over 216, gives me, uh, I've lost the answer, 125 over 216. So if it kind of stops in theory, it goes forever, doesn't it? So if you're stopping at a 6, it has to stop there. So we've got my x, got my probability that x is x. So 1 is going straight away. 2 is not a 6 and not a 6. 3 is not a 6, not a 6, get a 6. And then in theory, 4 is everything else. Because that could have gone on forever, so I wouldn't think of that. So that's a 125 over 2, 16. And that's that one. Now there's one here about a fair swimmer. So it says it's spun three times, the number of times the red appeared. So if you look, it can be not one, two, or three, because that's the number of times the red appeared. So we spin it three times as well. So you can see that no reds is three fifths, and I spin that three times, so that's why it's cubed. And then for one red, it's a red, and then not a red, twice. But you've got three different ways of spinning it. You've got three different combinations. Red, not red, red. Red, red, not red. Not red, red, red. And that's kind of where it all comes from. And then there's a Y one. Oh, I just keep on going until it lands on blue. 